Okay, now we're going to create a new template file. We're going to go back to the original website that we kind of started looking at as to how we're going to actually build our portfolio website. There's a couple things in here that we need to look at on this new template file we're going to build. Like if I come up here and I select on, say, oh, let's look at uh, orthos. I bring up the orthos. I've got this really nice layout <clears throat> that has icons of the artwork that I want to look at. It has a description, further description, and a link that's got a text link out here. And we also have icon links, as you can see here. So if I click on one of these, it brings up this image. Now, what I want to do is, let's go back and look at the website that we've built so far. We need to come back and build, like on this page here for Orthos ourselves, a template file that has these listings in here. Now, we're going to change this quite a bit. And I've already gone ahead and prototyped a version of what this should look like. So let's go down here to Dreamweaver real quick. As you can see here, I've started prototyping this. Let me go to Design View, and you can see what I'm talking about. Well, in this Design View, this is the original template that we created. Now, I've basically copied that file, and I've started prototyping another one. And here you can see it. I've got a listing of the template title name. I've got fields down below here that show where I can put my icons. I can put all this stuff here. Well, let's take a look at it and see what it looks like in Chrome. So here you can see this page. It's kind of clean, looks really nice. But we're going to create a template that looks just like this for all of our listing uh, pages that we need to come up, like for ortho sketches. Uh, we need to come up one here with you know, Illustrator and Photoshop, all these different ones out here. We need to create a template file so we can list out all of the icons for the artwork and descriptions so we can just click on it and go to it. Okay, so let's go back to Dreamweaver. So now we're here at Dreamweaver. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back over here to Split View. Actually, just go to Code View here. And you can see the code laid out uh, on this particular template. Now, we're going to create tables doing this, this listing here. The reason I use tables is I've got a lot of format control and structure over it. Because these pages really don't change that much. I may add you know, another icon for another piece of art that I want to show or an image that I want to show. But for the most part, it's pretty clean structure, as you can see. Okay, so let's get started. We'll back this video in a moment. Okay, here we are. We're going to copy the original uh, main template that we created for the website. If you go over here and look in the inaction photos.html file, here we'll go ahead and look at it in Chrome. Now this web page here is, is based off the original template that we created. And if you look at all the different pages out here, they're, they're based off the same template as well. Uh, in Dreamweaver, what we're going to do now is go to that original uh, template that we created, the Streamweaver template, and now we're going to do a copy save as. Or actually, let's stop here and let's just do a file save as. We'll do a file save as, and I've gone ahead and created one for prototype from, but I'm going to create a second one off the same name here, which is file listing template, and I'm going to just call it version 2. So go ahead and call it version 2 and save that. So now when this comes up, you're going to see the main template here, and then you're going to see this one over here that looks a lot like it. So I'm going to drag this back over here. Now, I already created the one I want to prototype from, which is version 1 right here, so we can kind of look at it as we're building the second one. Let's look at the first one here. So as you see coming up, it's got this listing template file name, listing template title name here, listing elements and all that. We're going to change a lot right here. And we're going to make the change of the background, we're going to change the text colors, and we're actually going to change how tall this particular background is. But we're all going to do it from the original template. So we're going to come back over here to the original template, and we're going to start making our changes. I've brought this up, and I've come over here to the body tag, and I'm going to double click on that body dev tag. So when it comes up, the first thing I'm going to do is change the font family. I'm going to come down here to Trebuchet MS. I'm going to change the color to yellow, as you see here. And then what I'm going to do is go to the background and remove this image. I really don't need this image anymore. So I'll delete that. I'm going to change the background color to navy blue, right there. Now down here on the box, uh, it says place a URL. Well, I'm just going to take that out. Okay. Down here on the box, there's the block there, the box here. I've got it set to 768. I'm just going to take that out and make that auto. So that way you can auto size to the length of the page that I actually need. Okay, uh, let's go back and check a few things here. That looks pretty good. We're going to go ahead and hit OK. 
So now that I hit OK, you see the main template is here. Let's go back over here to the InActions photos. We well, can see a lot of changes have taken place. Let's look at it in Chrome. So now when I come back up in Chrome, you see the background and the text has changed. I no longer have the 768 pixel image. So go to SolidWorks, go to Illustrator, go to About Me. Everything's the same. But when I have an image that's already out there, like this one splash image, the page will automatically resize to what it needs to be. And that's important for the listing, the listing pages because they're going to need to auto size with the number of files that we're going to be calling up. Okay. So now we're going to come over here to our, our template file that we've created here and see the changes that have been made in it as well. And here you can see the changes it made and all this information here. So now let's go and create our own new example of what this guy here looks like. Okay, now I'm in the the main template file that I originally had created and you can see I've made some changes to it. Now if you come over here to the one we're prototyping from it looks a lot like this one. Let's look at it in Chrome real quick. So preview this in Chrome and you can see it's come up and it shows a listing, a, a caption and all that. We probably won't use the listing table anymore. We'll just go ahead and just use the, 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 the caption that you see here and put in the actual listing body of that table. So it's really only going to be one table so we're not going to need to use two as you see here. So we'll go back here and again this is our main template we created. We copied and saved it into this one right here and we went down here and selected the uh, dev ID body tag here and we put our blinking cursor there. And Here's how easy it is. We're just going to come up here and we're going to select one row. We're going to key in five columns, 80% and we'll put a caption in here and we're going to say the listing file make it all caps template so later I'll come back and I'll say things like uh, orthographics, ISOs, Photoshop, etc. SolidWorks. Now what this does, this caption does, it puts a little title above the table and it auto centers it and that's good so go ahead and hit OK and you can see over here in the code section it put the listing file template here in the caption tag and it came down here and put a table row and it put the five uh, table cells that we needed on calls also called table data and then we put that in here well it needs one more thing we need to center this thing up let's hit refresh real quick and you can see it over here and we'll go into design view and you kind of see it's all you know leaning towards the left here and we'll look at it in live view and you can see what I'm talking about it's not really centered up we'll get out of live view We'll get out of uh, design and go back to split view. Now we're going to come up here right at the dev ID body tag <clears throat> and we'll key in. Uh, we'll go ahead and do an insert tag. We'll come up here to tag elements and we'll come down here to HTML. If it's collapsed, go ahead and expand it. Come down here to formatting and layout and just hit center tag. Hit insert. Now what it's going to do, I'm going to close this, it's put the insert and uh, the center tag right here in front of the table and it's put the closing center tag right there. We'll just highlight that and select it and then cut it and then come down here to the bottom at the very end and we'll do a control V and paste that in there. Now we'll go over here to the design view and we'll go ahead and hit um, uh, looks like it's already in there the way we want. Let's go ahead and look at it in Chrome and we'll save it to the uh, image here. We'll bring this up and sure enough there it is. It shows a listing template now the first set of files we're going to create are these listing files themselves like orthos and sketches so we would change this to orthos or sketches as you see here on this caption and then start loading our information in our table right there okay that's good for now okay I've gone back to the template file that we've created uh, into the table. I'm going to select this table right here and as you notice it placed the uh, space right here uh, my blinking cursor right here in the uh, design view over here. Now I'm just going to come back over here and highlight this whole one little uh, HTML space uh, character set. I'm going to come up here and do an insert image. When I'm, the reason I'm putting this image in there, I'm usually going to have an icon that I've got to look for. So I went ahead and pre-built a icon for this little blue site listing page. I'm going to scroll down here and see if I can find that little icon I just created. Yep, here it is right here. And just a little placeholder to put in there. And you can go and create those on your own. You know enough about Photoshop to do that now. 
So I do that, and I'm just going to put in some alternate text and say um, icon placeholder. Because you want to come back and create your own icons later for the actual artwork to kind of give you a little preview of what it's going to look like. Now, as you notice, it went ahead and put in the width and height for that. Well, it's kind of oversized. Now, I can take this and grab it and slide it back over here and get it kind of close if I want to and put that in there so it's at you know 10% of the table size. Let's go ahead and take a look at this in Chrome now. Yeah, so it's gone ahead and put this little icon in here for our future artwork that we're going to place. Now, let's go back to Chrome and let's put in some temporary text to kind of tell us where we're going to put uh, the rest of our information. I'm going to go ahead and go to Design View. And I'm going to start adjusting these tables a little bit. I want a little spacing here for that. And then maybe over here at this end, I want to have a uh, little spacing there. And I'll put my descriptor text in there. So I'll just go ahead and right here and start putting in some text. And I'll put in, okay, put file name and description in this table cell. Okay? And then over here, I'll put some more descriptor text in. I'll say put um, href link text here. Okay. That looks good. We'll go ahead and we'll uh, go back to split view and we can see that it put it in there. Let's go check that out in Chrome. Take a look at it. Okay, yeah, that looks pretty good. It pretty much has everything in here we want. We may want to make this uh, listing file uh, text a little bigger if we want. That's kind of up to your discretion. But so here we have a, sort of a nice little template that we can come back and build information on. So we're going to go ahead and stop here for now. And then in the next video, we're going to come in and start building the uh, Orthos uh, page here so you can start getting a listing on that. Okay, now that we finalize what our design template was going to look like, I'm going to go back and get rid of the uh, prototype template file that I created. So I'm going to come down here to my directory folder and I'm going to go ahead and open up my website and I'm going to come into templates and there you see that first one that we created. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of him so I'm just going to hit delete and remove that one out of there so my templates don't get too confusing. So now we'll go back to Dreamweaver. Uh, we're going to save all our files to be safe. Do the save all. And now I'm just going to go ahead and create a new file from template. Actually, hold on a second really quick here. We'll say new file here and we're going to say from template and we're going to go to page 2 which shows our listing as you can see right here. Go ahead and create that and then now we need to save this file immediately to the name of the orthos. So what I'm going to do there is I'm just going to scroll up to the top here. Actually, yeah, scroll up to the top and I'm going to find that ortho file that I want to create. So we'll come all the way up here to the drop down menu section. I'll get our about me section. We'll scroll down here and here we are in drawings and there it is. I must pull this out to code view and uh, 3D modeling again, illustrations uh, should be in the drawing section. Ah, there it is. I'll come out here to drawings orthos HTML. I'll copy that file name from the template and then I'll come up here into a file, save as and I'll go ahead and put that in there and that's my drawings uh, orthos template. Hit OK and the file you said already exists, would you like to overwrite it? Yeah, sure. Okay, so overwritten it. Yours may not already exist. I've already prototyped this, but that's okay. So let's go ahead and go to back to split view. Let's look at this in Chrome. Pull this up, and there it is. Okay, now let's come out here to uh, SolidWorks. Okay, now let's go over here to Drawings and Orthos, and sure enough, there's our file. Well, now we need to come in and change these names and put some icons in here. So, we're going to go back to Dreamweaver, and we're just going to scroll over here to, um, it says Listing Template, we'll select on this text right there, and we'll highlight it here, and we'll say Drawings, and we're going to say Orthos, or actually probably be better said if I just do Ortho Drawings. Okay, 
and eh, let's be more a little classier here. We'll just make it all cap. Okay, and we'll go ahead and hit refresh. See that? We'll check it out. Chrome again. Here we go. And you can see we've come in here and we've made that little title there. Looks nice. Okay, so now we're going to come in and we're going to put our first listings and our, our files in here, as you see. Okay. And we're going to say manual. I'll go ahead and just go to design view here so it's easier to see. And say manual. Orthographic. Projection and isometric drawing number one. Put that in there. And then now what I can do on this icon, I can come in here and delete that and do an insert image and go back to my folder where I've already created those icons. And we'll come down here and find those. I think they're going to be in there somewhere. It should be down in drawings. Yeah, here's, here's an icon right there. I don't think that's the one that's worth on number 11. Uh, I think this is it right here. Uh, icon with a sketch number one. We'll go ahead and hit OK. And we'll give it a text. I'm just going to say icon art. Roll with those. Okay. Hit OK. And sure enough, there it is. Now let's go ahead and preview that in Chrome again. And there it is. Now I can come back and do a hyper uh, text link over that. And uh, we'll stop for now and we'll come back and get some file information and then come back and put a link on this and put a text link out here as well. Okay, before I go back and do the hyperlinking to the image and also adding this other hyperlink out here, I need to create the third and final template file. The third and final template file will have a descriptor or a caption, as you see up here, about the file. It'll have the actual picture of the file, and it'll have any kind of text or notes you want to add to that project or that file that we created. So before we add these links, and uh, here as well as on the image as well. We're going to go ahead and create the third and final template.